Five year old age room by Money Musk. Classic gold. Made here in Jamaica, right? That's correct. <coughs> That's really easy to drink. Isn't it? Uh oh. <laughs> I think we're in trouble. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Even in Jamaica, you gotta wake up at four in the morning when you wanna go fishing. Whew. We're in Jamaica today. I got my chest cam on. I'm about to go outside and walk down to the, uh, to the docks out there. We got our boat waiting and we're gonna go offshore and do a little bit of deep dropping. Big shout out to David from Lock and Load Offshore Adventures for setting up this trip for me here in, in Jamaica. I keep wanting to say Bahamas, but we're in Jamaica. I don't know what the... We're in Jamaica, baby. Well, it's definitely not daylight outside, but nice breeze this morning. A little chilly, actually. Is the boat locked and loaded, ready to go? Yeah, man, it's a beautiful morning. Just look at that morning right there. Show everybody that beautiful morning. It's gorgeous now. Guess what? We're heading out to go do some deep lining, so we're gonna take our time and head out right now, guys. So catch you out there. I'll take these things off your hand. Here, sir. All right. Good morning. Good morning again. Woo! We got everything. I feel like that was really easy. Normally, I'm packing my boat up for hours. So we got leads. Turn it on. Lights on top. Big baits get big fish. Small baits, small fish. All right. We have a line going down now. First line in the water. Ready? We're going. Yeah. Send her on down. Yeah, she gone. Going down. Our first line's going down. It's early in the morning, and we're in 1,200 feet of water, even though land is only right there. So there's not much reef, it's pretty much just a straight drop off into the abyss and hopefully lots of fish down there. So we got a fish, we're not gonna wait on this one. You feel a fish on there? Yeah. This rod's coming up with a fish and that rod's going down with bait. It's a good system here. All right. What kind of fish is this? It's a cardinal. 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 Well, we got a fish on the boat. That's a big one. Yeah. That's a baby, a big one. <laughs> Woo! That's a good looking one right there. I knew I felt a bite on that one. It's a baby, huh? Yeah, a baby chicken nugget. Yeah. That's no, cardinal, no, guys. That, how many are you allowed to take? That's a good one. Yeah. What does it count? Okay. Yeah.
sell some crabs to add with the fish it's crystal clear blue water and I feel great one more red stripe please <laughs> yeah, one red stripe please <laughs> yeah man Dinner. So you know what happened now? Later on we have a good cookout. Everything on the grill. We just got back from our fishing trip, showered up, and now we're looking spiffy and ready to eat some fish. We're walking back to David's house and he's gonna cook them up for us. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Hello Charlie. Charlie. Hello. Hi! Uh, give Charlie a scratch. Oh, he got me. Ow. <laughs> well, according to Carnival Cruise Line, you should always choose fun. It's the smart choice. I just ran to the store to grab a few things and we got stuck in traffic for like an hour and a half. They already went ahead and cleaned the lobster and the spider crab and they scaled and gutted the fish, which is wonderful for me because I don't have to clean any fish. A little unfortunate for you because you don't get to watch them clean the crab, but it's okay because you're going to watch us cook the crab. Like when you're frying fish, very important to make a slit there. Instead of like three slits, yeah, just you make like to do the one. Yeah, because it's easier. Because basically all this does is keeping the fish flat, plus the seasoning can go inside of it, you know? Okay. That might have just changed my life right there. Right here, bro. Always remember, when you're seasoning fish, you can't have it too wet, right? If it's too wet, it doesn't make sense. So, see when you do it like this now, and always remember, I, how much are you guys when you're seasoning fish and you're rubbing the fish, these things poke you. Has it yeah. ever happened to you? Yeah. There's yeah. a little secret. When you guys are seasoning fish, you don't rub your pot. You pat. Right, so you pat the seasoning on fish. You don't rub the seasoning. And that Saves you from getting slapped with these. All right. 
Truman. A Truman. <laughs> Roger, Dave. Yeah. Roger, Dave. I'm going to season up the crabbies and the lobbysters. Miss me, put some more the on purpose, the, the, the clear one. The crabby patty. That is the crabby patty fox over here. That is no good. Mr. George? We're getting this fire ready to fry these fish. Yes, in this Dutch pot. Dutch pot? Yes, a Dutch pot can handle the heat and it's perfect. So we're just building the fire. When it gets really hot and the coal is lit, put it on there, get the oil really hot. And then we're gonna throw some scotch bonnet in there and some garlic to season the oil. And then we're gonna throw those fish in there to get that crispiness. And then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna build the sauce. And after the sauce, we're putting them back in, in there for the brown stew fish. So that's what we're doing guys. We're doing brown stew deep water snapper and then we're going to be doing some crab and Spanish lobster with garlic and coconut milk so David's giving us all the life secrets right now here's another one whenever you're frying something like deep frying like what we're gonna be doing with the fish always season the oil so I have some cloves of garlic in there what I pop put them in there and then I'm gonna cut a habanero scotch bonnet and put it in there to season the oil and that's gonna bring out the flavor in the fish so you're gonna actually taste that in the fish and when it starts bubbling up and you let it cook for a little bit in there then you know she's ready to be so here's the habaneros we have cut open and we put them in there and they're gonna go and season that oil and get it all sweet what do we got coming we have smoke? smoked marlin brandon king does the best smoked marlin in jamaica and he just called me and said he made two batches of smoked marlin dip for you what is uh what kind of smoke what kind of marlin blue marlin blue marlin, yes. blue marlin, blue marlin fish marlin. dip fish dip beautiful what? and delicious off the chain delicious it's not even ready yet okay so we're gonna wait for the oil to get hot yes and then we're gonna drop the fish in yes sir you ready guys I'm ready the first victim going down uh -huh. yeah catch it on camera leave it on make it a little hotter it needs to get hotter yeah a little bit but it's hot same way it's okay but let's get it hotter you want it to like freak out when, when it touches your poof. I'm not dealing with Marlin business. Oh. That's the Marlin dip. There you go. Oh. Try that. Mash it. Good to meet you, man. Big up. Yeah, man. Brandon. So, Marlin. guys, that is the best Marlin dip. And we're going to line it up with some. Wait, what are you suggesting? Put it on. Crackers. Crackers. Yeah, man. Crackers. All right. So, Brunel, make me some crackers. Blue Marlin um, fish dip. Years. This is what we call a dip. Yeah. The real dip. The real dip. Blue Marlin fish dip. Blue Marlin going on a cracker. This is gonna be a first for me. <laughs> oh, Dave is ready. All right. All right, man. Smoke Marlin going down. So why are you after the plane? Mm. You boy. <laughs> that's that's good. good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice and crispy. Oh. Are you and that's the pop we want. Yeah. Fire! That's fire. You hear that? Nice and dried. The last one. Last one. See them? See the colors? All of them? Nice and crispy. Yeah. Looking really good. This is a brown shoe sauce. This is a special guzo sauce. This is a love potion. This is a vegetable we're putting down. All right, so we're gonna, right. So we have tomatoes, scallion, onion, garlic, sweet pepper, habanero, scotch bonnets, all right? And some thyme. Come Dave, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Holy moly. Give me the cold water there. What's in that sauce? Some soy sauce, a little molasses, a little brown sugar, a little bit of vinegar. That's gonna come together now. Wow. Oh. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna rain, like we're gonna put it down to let all the water reduce off of it. It's gonna get a nice sauce. So if you guys come closer and you're gonna take a look at it, see what it's doing there. Bubbling right up. Smell that. Whoa. Alright, so we're just gonna keep it like for a little bit, create it mm -hmm. to boil down, get all the flavors in there, and then after we're finished, we're gonna take that and throw all over the fish. Oh. 
Oh, so you're gonna pour it on the fish? Yes, sir. Yeah, Trevor just didn't find top this Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Right? Okay, so the first course is done. Spray powder and coconut oil. Yes, sir. Bringing it to the table. Got the crabs. Got the fish. Oh, damn. That's the mother load. That's a heavenly looking play right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to know what that fish tastes like. Oh, it's fun yeah, this is try by itself, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the fish gone. We devoured it. How is it, David? The winner? Really, really good. Soft, flaky, juicy fish. All right. <laughs> We got the good stuff now. Yeah, man. Oh, we need now some nice glass yeah, or cup, man. Yeah. 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 What do we have here? Money, Money, Money Musk. Musk. Five year old age rum. Five year old age rum by Money Musk. Classic gold. Made here in Jamaica, right? That's correct. <coughs> That's really easy to drink. Isn't it? Uh oh. <laughs> I think we're in trouble. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's our very last day, or should I say, our last morning here in Jamaica. <laughs> There's loud noises going on. It's the washing machine. And I'm about to make some Jamaican patties for breakfast. Jamaican patties in the oven. We also got some Jamaican coffee going. It's a good morning. I filled up two 128 gigabyte chips. That's right. And three 64 gigabyte chips. And I got two minutes left on this SD card. Boy, do we have some footage to edit. <laughs> Guys, it was fun having Heiko here. It was it was just tremendous. It was epic. Guys, trust me, you guys are going to enjoy this content. He's going to be putting out. And guys, trust me, leave it in the comments. Make him come back down here. We have lots more to do. All right, guys? So one love. God bless you guys. And stay safe. You heard David. Go leave a comment and make sure you go follow him. The truck says it all. Lock That's and right. load. Offshore, offshore adventures, adventures baby. Bless up for ourselves, man. All right. And if you want to know some good cooking, yeah, that's this guy's channel. Never trust a skinny chef. <laughs> that's the slogan. We're at the airport. This guy poured us some shots. We didn't even we didn't even ask for them. Getting them drunk, you know what I mean? Enjoying yourself. Yeah, man. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Right away. <laughs> this guy's in trouble. Smooth. This guy's a troublemaker. Yeah, I was about to chase him. Oh, I didn't need to. VIP style. You know? <laughs> I am back in Florida looking at my boat and I can't wait to put her back in the water. It's time to do some solo fishing. It's time to hit the patch reefs. Time to hit the Isla Mirada humps. Wahoo season is coming up. The swordfish bite should be turning on. Maybe I'll spend some time targeting sailfish. What do you guys want to see me do this winter? I'm ready to go hard. It's been two months since she's been in the water. I've missed fishing her and it's all starting now. Had a great time in Jamaica. Big shout out to David and his whole crew for giving um, us so much hospitality and taking us on trips and taking care of us. Had a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers. Cheers.